I have got an essay that's meant to be in today. It's meant to be 1,500 words. I can only manage 500. Well, tell your tutors they pay to help you. What, write an essay? No, I'm not telling them nothing. Anything personal, they'll just judge me. Write me off as, oh, she's gay. Oh, she's got issues. What's wrong with you? Go on, why do you tell your sister what's been happening? It's pouring up. Why? What's happened? Well, she's had a warning from college and now she's got to see the principal because she's fallen behind. Oh, Sophie, pull yourself together, will you? I've just been asked to go topless. Tell me, what is going on? <sighs> it's just college. I went in today and, you know, the principal, well, they kind of just like... I don't believe me. <sighs> yeah, don't mind me. On set, loving. Thanks for the chat. My mum's asked me to go on holiday with her and a new fella. And when will this be? Tomorrow. What? I need a break to get away from your house. All the family rows, right? Your mum and your dad and Rosie and your dad and you and your dad. Do you know what it feels like to be caught up in the middle all the time? It's a holiday, so... Expelled and I got the letter today and I should have told you this morning. I don't and... believe this. Yeah, um, I was just wondering, you know, when you uh, reopen, please can I have some more shifts? <laughs> oh, a fish shop. Uh, Tell them, yeah. Uh, I met this girl, Chloe. She's so funny. I had such a laugh. I'll let you say hello next time, a Skyper. Sorry, I'm stopping tonight. Why not? Because my mum's expecting me. I thought you'd be pleased for me. Yeah, well, how can I be shy and you're leaving me? No, I'm not. I am so not. We're still going to be together, just not tonight. See, and there's me thinking that this is your old man. Here with me. Seems you can't even wait to get away. I've been kicked out, Sharon. Of college. Sold the house, have we? Cheryl and Lloyd have put in an offer and your dad's accepted. What about if we get our own place? If I was seeing another girl, I'd make sure I told you first before I started advertising it on the internet. Is that all you can say? I text you all the time off my holiday. And I sent you postcards because I'm with you and I love you. Yeah, well, you've got a funny way of showing it. Well, I thought you'd calm down, did you? You have sent me three messages. Yeah, it was before I seen how much she was missing Chloe. You're a mess, Sophie! You used to be fun and now I spend half my time trying to drag you out of bed and trying to make you do college work. Oh, until you got chucked out. I'll start this again. I'm sick of feeling more like your mum than your girlfriend. So you're dumping me? I can't take it anymore, Sophie. What, so you're finishing it? I knew you were cheating. You're an idiot, you know so that! Something. You can stick your poxy job on all! Well, I'm drinking cider. What are you gonna do? Get me arrested? Nobody cares about me anymore. That is not true. Not even God cares about me anymore. Something. God hates me. God hates me just like you said. I never said that. Yeah, you did. I hates me because I'm gay. God doesn't hate anyone. Then <laughs> why is he punishing me? <laughs> why is my life coming to pieces? Come on then! Sophie, come back. <laughs> I'm not asking for a fundamental, I'm just a hen! Just give me a little hen! Come on, it's not safe. Come on, give me a hand. Come back to us. We'll welcome you. <laughs> I can't change who I am. He's not asking you to. I'm not asking you to. We accept you and love you for who you are. <laughs> Sophie! Sophie could be dying for all we know, and all we can do is argue. 
The CT scan shows no bleeding in the brain and her neck and spine are okay. She's very lucky. Broken rib, fractured wrist, concussion. Could have been so much worse. Is this on purpose? And it's not my life to take. I just need things to change. We're gonna die, you know. I'd never go off with no one else, you know that. You know that I love you. You're still my baby girl, you know? What? What's the latest? You said she can come home. So soon? In the next couple of days, hopefully. Sean, do you still love me? Yeah. You don't sound too sure. Of course I'm sure. I'm really sorry, you know. Damn. And just the thought of losing you. Well, um, do you think your mum will let me move back in? Are you serious? Staggering around the street off her face, and you're too busy to deal with it. I was picking Jack up from the child mind. Where was you? I didn't know what was going to happen, did I? Well, neither did I. Oh, so I'll deal with it. She nearly died because you couldn't be bothered with her. All you're bothered about is Jack, Jack, Jack. Now, well, he can't fend for himself, can he? She's virtually an adult. She's 16. She's at the trickiest stage of her life. Yeah, well, if you wasn't throwing yourself at blokes, he might know where to look yeah, for you. Yeah, if you hadn't gone off with Molly Dobbs, none of this would have happened. Do you know why I'm surprised that she didn't jump? Excuse me? Stay out of this, Sean. You're a little girl. Don't you dare speak to her like that. Well, one minute she's asking to move back in with us, and the next minute she's mouthing off. You just listen to her. Talk to her, because everything that has been going on, you don't have a clue about. And then this is the result. I wondered if you and Sean might consider coming back to choir. Are you sure? Yeah. I think it gives a chance to work things out. We've all missed you. We've missed it too. Do you consider it? Definitely.